My name is Sarah Brady, and my husband, Jim Brady, was shot in the head on March 30th, 1981, in the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan's life. I, the, when I saw what it did to, to Jim's mother, who came that night um, after she got there before he even came out of surgery from Illinois. It just about killed her and Jim's dad. I mean, that was your son, your child. Nothing this means more to you than your child. And um, of course, for me, it, it was hard. It's been a hard time, but I have to tell you that as the wife, you have to go between raising your child yourself and making sure he is not, I didn't want him to grow up hating John Hinckley or hatred of anything. So, um, and he did, uh, there were times when he uh, was just a little fella. Oh, the saddest moment. One night I came home from the hospital and was reading to him and then he wasn't listening and I was fussy. And then he just broke down crying and he said, Mom, I hate John Hinckley. And I said, oh, honey, you shouldn't hate anybody. <coughs> and he said, well, if John Hinckley hadn't shot Daddy, you wouldn't be so mean to me. And then I thought, oh my God, this poor kid. <laughs> At that young age, realizing you know, how hard and how hard it was on him, and it has been hard on him. But he's overcome and he's fine now. But I think the kids are the hardest hit of all, the moms and the kids. Please join me in speaking out. And by speaking out, I mean now. I mean getting your friends and your neighbors to speak out and to keep speaking out. You have to have perseverance. This is the right thing to do, and right eventually will win.